Hey, what is up? I'm Zaf, and remember when I told you that I was playing something in the past two weeks, which was the video before this one? Well, here it is. It's a game called Dragalia Lost, and if you don't live in a cave, you probably have heard about this game as it has been out for quite a while now, celebrating its first year this month. So Dragalia Lost is a gotcha action role-playing game developed by Psy Games and published by Nintendo, which I'm a bit confused now why I didn't hop into this game earlier when it was backed up by a very trustable company. Maybe I just wasn't in a gamer mode at the time, but Thank goodness I decided to try this game out because this one is quite unique in the sea of mobile games right now. It features the pretty basic gacha system but the rates, the rates in this game is the best one I've seen in any gacha game that I have played. With the normal 4% chance of getting a 5 star plus pity rate that adds 0.5 for every 10 summons that isn't a 5 star. They also have different banners per release of new heroes and sometimes have reruns of previous banners, but one specific banner called the Gala banner raises the normal chance from 4% to a whooping, whooping, whooping 6% chance. And that banner is due to come also this month, which makes it an even good time to start playing the game. Adventurers from the Gala banner are bound to be really good, and increased rates makes it even better. But aside from the good rates, the game is also very generous when it comes to in-game currency, called Wormites. Wormite is going to be the primary source of summons and fortunately, Dragalia Lost is known to be very generous when it comes to throwing Wormites at your face, especially on celebrations with the first anniversary assumed to be the biggest one coming. Again, another good reason to start playing now. I used to think that Dragalia Lost was just the same as all the other gotchas where you collect heroes, make teams, and grind until you die. I mean, it is still kind of like that, but it becomes more interesting because of its action combat system. I really like that they made it simple, but at the same time uses mechanics to make you use your brain a little more and test your reaction times. And that's with me having really bad anxiety when it comes to action games. So that definitely says a lot. Also, one of the most unique thing that I found in this game is that it has no PvP. No player versus player, no competition, all PvE. Meta is only a word for speedruns and maybe something like Mercurial Gauntlet, which, which is just one consent in the game. But honestly, I'd say meta is self-imposed and there is no pressure at all to be in the meta. As you can enjoy and clear content in the game with whoever you want. Maybe. Okay, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I've only been playing two weeks, so don't trust me. And if you're wondering, um, since there's no PvP, where's the player interaction in this game? Well, it's in co-op because there is some content in the game where the AI just cannot handle dodging things. And that's where you need smart human beings to dodge things. But yeah, I think those are the main points I want to throw at you for Dragalia Lost. It's a really good game. It has really good music, very consistent with events, and a story that actually is worth following. And I highly recommend that you try this game out. And if you do want to try this game out, check out the pin post on Dragalia Lost subreddit to know how to download the game and they also have an extremely active player base to help you with all the other stuff. There's also a discord and I will be linking all of those stuff in the description down below. But that's all I have for now. I'm Zef and if you want to support me and be a good person, please click my other channel down below and please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Goo! <laughs> Cracked. Goodbye.